Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio. So if you guys like the content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find the link to in the description below, and also the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. So let's go ahead and jump in. So this here is the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio, right? And it's plotted on a logarithmic scale. So each major tick from here to here is a 10x move, and from here to here is another 10x move, okay? So from here to here, this would be 100x. Um, so one of the things we've looked at in the past with the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio, right, are these general trends that tend to repeat, right? A cool down phase, an accumulation phase, a first peak, second peak, cool down, um, and then uh, another accumulation phase. First peak, second peak, cool down, accumulation right and we identified these accumulation phase this accumulation phase as it happened right we said that ethereum is very much undervalued against bitcoin and that uh going into 2020 it's it's likely going to to move up and i mean we've seen exactly that right going into 2020 uh the ethereum bitcoin ratio moved up rather quickly we dipped back down during the during the march crash but we've more or less continued to just move up on our merry way we recognize that things don't move up monotonically Right, so this is just business as usual. One of the things we've also talked about many times is the idea that right that the cooldown phase corresponds, historically speaking, to the next accumulation phase. Right, you can see that here. You can also see it here. So this cooldown phase corresponded to this accumulation phase, and in the same manner, this peak here corresponded to this cooldown phase, which might correspond to a future accumulation phase. Right, and in the in the in the meantime, uh, maybe this is a future accumulation phase, and if it is, maybe the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio continues to move up in the short term, right, and goes into a bubble. We see like maybe a first peak, second peak, cool down, and then back into a potential reaccumulation phase, even within the same Bitcoin market cycle. Now, it's possible that this trend does not repeat, right, and we just move sideways in this region. But I tend to think that it's more likely than not that. Um, we're either going to continue to move up out of this region and form a bubble or we'll move back down it if if the 20 week moving average does not hold. So my interpretation is if Bitcoin holds the 20 week and stays bullish, then the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio will continue to to go up and, and form a bubble. And if if we do not hold if the if Bitcoin does not hold the 20 week moving average, then the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio will, will bleed back down. And maybe it won't bleed back down to this region, but potentially to the bottom of this region here. So this is just generally what I'm looking for um, over the next few weeks, right? It's going to be, can Bitcoin continue to stay above its 20 week moving average? If it can, then the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio will likely continue to move up. Not necessarily monotonically, but over the macro scale, I think it will. If you look at the last market cycle, you can see that we generally moved up from 2016 through 2018, the beginning of 2018, moved down for the next two years. And then we identified this essentially as our double bottom and a momentum shift in the market and saying that in December, we said that Ethereum Bitcoin was very much undervalued, right? And that um, it, it's, it's more likely than not to, continue to start moving up significantly. And we can see that it's played out, right? That yes, it has not moved up monotonically, uh, but it has more or less continued to move up. And, and even over here, even during this, these crazy moves, you can see how quickly, um, you know, or how sometimes it, the, the Ethereum Bitcoin valuation decreased rather significantly in a very short period of time, only to then rebound quickly again and, and continue on up. So, you know, what we're looking for, I think, you know, again, is, is to continue watching the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio move up as long as Bitcoin stays above the 20 week and keep in mind that if Bitcoin stays at the higher part of this potential accumulation phase, right, between say 10,000 to 11,000, if it stays at like $11,000 for, for a few more weeks or even maybe just a couple more days, I, I mean, I can't really tell you exactly when it's gonna happen, but the longer that it stays there, right, the more likely the Ethereum will continue to break out against Bitcoin, right? And and the locally speaking, the first time that Ethereum broke through 400, right, this year, uh, Bitcoin broke through 12K. So if it were to break through it again now, Bitcoin's at 11K, right? So it's that subtle shift in the in that ratio. We identified, you know, this as cycle one, right? So we essentially had two sub cycles during one Bitcoin market cycle. And then looking at this as cycle two, recognizing that 
we're likely going to, to see a general increase in the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio as long as Bitcoin stays bullish. However, it's likely not going to, to increase as quickly as it did last cycle and the ROI will likely be less. Um, so it doesn't mean, right, that we can't go up to a ratio of 0.15 because our ratio is starting a lot higher than it did the last cycle. But it just means that, you know, when these bubbles form, I would say to try to be smart about it, don't get too greedy and um, make sure you take profits, right, in, in any type of bubble formation uh, so that, you know, you actually are are actually cashing in some of that, some of the, some of those gains rather than watching it go up and then come straight back down. This is not financial advice. This is just how I navigate the cryptocurrency markets. Um, so, you know, we talked about um, 2016, right, as, as this, this was when it really catalyzed this market cycle, right? This was when Ethereum, the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio started skyrocketing. We know that early 2016 was when Bitcoin held the 20 week moving average as support. Um, we also talked about how 2020 is likely a pivot point um, and that we're likely going to continue or to start to move up uh, this year. Uh, and we're, we're still doing that so far. So we're going to continue to watch this uh, as long as Bitcoin is above the 20 week. I think we're going to continue to move up and hopefully we get lucky and, and, and move up into into more speculative bubble territory um, because these are the things we really want to take advantage of. Um, so. We recognize that this is going to likely take longer and we're prepared for it. So if you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. We also do have the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. So the prices are going up in 10 days. So if you want access to the information and you want to get grandfathered in at the lower price, make sure you sign up soon before September 28th. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay the higher price if you decide to join later. Um, the things you get by signing up, you get access to a private alert channel, which is where I post my candid thoughts on the market, uh, a chat room, private chat room, weekly premium videos, weekly premium reports, and you also get access to all the historical videos and reports. And then also you get access to the risk dashboard, which is what I use to trade, and a dynamic DCA sell strategy dashboard. So check it out. You can pay with crypto and get a 15% discount if you pay for 12 months. But remember, the prices are going up soon, so make sure you subscribe before then if you want to get grandfathered in at the lower price. So the general synopsis here, right, is we want to keep an eye on Bitcoin. If it holds, if the 20-week holds and we stay at the top of the band, especially, right, if it stays at close to 11K, I would expect Ethereum to start moving. And um, again, if it does move, we recognize that the Ethereum Bitcoin ratio will likely continue to move back up, right? It's kind of like two steps forward, one step back in a sense, during a market cycle, during a bull run. During a bull run, things don't just go straight up, right? They go up and then they come back a little bit and then they continue moving on up. So this is what we're looking for. Ethereum has not seen the same type of bubble that some of these other coins have already seen. So it would not surprise me in the very least to see Ethereum start to move rather quickly if Bitcoin can hold its current level and continue to stay above the 20 week moving average. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, check out the premium list, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.